In Indonesia, there are one species of bird that is very popular as a pet bird because of its singing ability. They are straw-headed bulbul. Because of the popularity of these birds, many bird enthusiasts come to traders to get them and are even willing to spend quite a bit. However, a handful of bird traders have taken advantage of the situation to deceive buyers by offering them the spot-necked bulbul. This species costs less but looks almost identical to the straw-headed bulbul. Because of the similarity, the sneaky traders claim that the spot-necked bulbul they offer is the offspring of the straw-headed bulbul. Not infrequently, buyers who lack experience with birds are deceived. But what exactly is the spot-necked bulbul? Are they any less special than the straw-headed bulbul? So let's talk about it. Coincidentally, Irfan and his team will release a pair of spot-necked bulbul. It's the aviary! Hello guys. I'm with my son, Zaki. He is also a nature lover, a lover of animals, plants, everything. And now we're going to release the straw-headed bulbul chicks. Two birds at once, guys. Isn't that right, Kong Pio? Wrong. <laughs> You're trying to scam a buyer, huh? Indeed. Many people claim that these birds are straw-headed bulbuls. Their appearance is indeed almost similar to the straw-headed bulbul, only smaller. What is the name of this bird? Spot-necked bulbul. But they are often called miniature straw-headed bulbuls. Yet they are different. Far different. I think in terms of shape and motif, they are similar. It's just that their voices are different, and the spot-necked bulbul is smaller. The sound of these birds is similar to the sooty-headed bulbul. Is that so? Zaki, do you want to release the bird? Soon the bird will fly, son. Spot-necked bulbul. The spot-necked bulbul or Pycnonotus tympanistrigus is a medium-sized songbird about 16 centimeters long. On the other hand, the straw-headed bulbul is much larger, reaching about 28 centimeters in length. Even so, the motifs on the chest, abdomen, and wings of the two species are indeed similar. So it's not surprising that beginners find it quite difficult to distinguish between them. But actually, it's quite easy to tell them apart. Just look at their earmuffs and crowns. The bulbul spot-necked earmuffs are yellow, and their crowns are dark olive brown. It differs from the straw-headed bulbul, whose crown and earplugs are orange or pale straw yellow. That's why the birds are called the straw-headed bulbul. The chirping sound of the spot-necked bulbul is also different from that of the straw-headed bulbul. Or in other words, the sound quality of the spot-necked bulbul is far less than the latter. Their voices are small, unremarkable, and monotonous, often repeating songs over and over again. Here's an example of their sound.
much different than the tight and melodious straw-headed bulbul. In addition, the distribution area of the spot-necked bulbul is narrower than that of the straw-headed bulbul, which is spread over several islands in Indonesia. The spot-necked bulbul is a bird endemic to Sumatra. They can be found in hilly forests and secondary forests that stretch from the Barisan Mountains to Mount Kirinchi, with an altitude range of 600 to 900 meters above sea level. In the wild, they forage in the middle and upper levels of the forest, and they do so in pairs or small groups. Although they like insects, their main food is fruit, and therefore they like to gather on fruit trees. When eating, they are very greedy. No wonder they produce quite a lot of dirt. The spot-necked bulbul is classified as a near-threatened bird on the IUCN list. Apart from habitat loss, their population is also threatened by poaching. These poor birds are not popular as pets, but nevertheless, they have almost the same appearance as the prima donna, the straw-headed bulbul. These birds are often sold to budding bird enthusiasts who wish to purchase a straw-headed bulbul. And perhaps because of that, the demand for them in the bird market will still exist. Given their dire status, hopefully, the spot-necked bulbul and the aviary can breed quickly so that their offspring can be released into the wild in the future. And luckily, the pair of spot-necked bulbuls on the aviary seem to be very attached to each other. They always do activities together. From eating, to perching, to bathing, they were always together. Would you like to see when they shower? Here's footage of them bathing near a waterfall. Indeed, the waterfall in the aviary is very tempting for anyone to bathe there. Not only birds, but Irfan also likes to bathe there. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again in the next episode.